Hello there! Welcome to another IB Physics video where we will be solving problems from the paper 2 IB Physics. Today we have a problem related to chapter 2 mechanics. Getting right into it, this problem comes from the 2018 November test and right away it asks you to define impulse. Uh, this is not a very difficult problem so we just have to either mention it is a change in momentum or define it as a force multiplied by time. Having passed that, that was only one point question. The next question is also one point, and it asks us to show the kinetic energy of the egg just before impact is about 0 0.6 joules. So the first part you have to do is, we have to know that the kinetic energy will equal to the potential energy, which is in turn equal to the mass times the gravitational acceleration multiplied by the height. During this calculation, we yield 0 0.63 joules, which is which proves that it is about 0 0.6 joules, as the question asks for. Uh, this is just a one-point question, but it's important that you, you use this, or get this correct, so that you can use it for the next questions. So, on um, question two, it says the egg comes to the rest at a time of 55 milliseconds. Determine the magnitude of the average decelerating force that the ground exerts on the egg. And there's two ways to solve this. First way, we can use impulse and time. Okay, force will equal to the impulse divided by the time, as shown here. We still do not know the impulse because we don't know the momentum. Uh, finding the momentum is relatively easy. We can use that the energy is equal to one half times the momentum squared divided by the mass. This means that the momentum will be 0 0.7 kilograms meters per second. Of course, this equation comes from that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, and momentum is mv. We will input this momentum here, dividing 0 0.27 kilograms per meter second, meters per second, divided by 0 0.055 seconds gives us 4.9 newtons. But this is not the answer. This is a net force on the egg. And if you recall, there is a force of gravity and the force from the ground, and this results in a net force. Therefore, we have to calculate the force of the ground on the egg, not the net force. The net force was equal to the force of the ground minus the force of gravity, due because they're in opposite directions. And this means that the force of the ground is the 4.9 newtons plus the force of gravity, which is 5.5 newtons. If you try and use the second method, you have to first find the velocity. Using the velocity, you will find the acceleration. Using the acceleration, you will find the force. Here you can see we used the kinetic energy to be equal to 1 half mv squared. The kinetic energy as found in part 1 was 0 0.63 joules. And this gives us that the velocity is 0 0.7 meters per second. Now, it's relatively easy to find the acceleration because you know the change in velocity, you know the change in time. It went from 0 0.4 meters per second to zero. So this is a change in velocity divided by the change in time is 0 0.055 seconds. And this gives us 85 meters per second squared as the acceleration. To find the force, you have to multiply by the mass. Doing this gives us 4.9 newtons. This is also the net force we use the same process as before to find that the force of the ground on the egg is 5.5 newtons. The last part, it asks us to explain why the egg is likely to break when dropped onto concrete from the same height. Well, you should realize that what actually breaks the egg is a force. A larger force is required to break the egg. So, what happens is, first, this either the stopping time or the stopping distance is reduced. Next, uh, the change in momentum is the same, but the stopping time is reduced. This means that the force is larger, and this will break the egg. They will also accept that if you use the same uh, distance, or the, if the distance is reduced, and the same work, that means that the amount of force is increased. A third option is the deceleration is greater because a smaller stopping time is required, and this means that a larger force is required to decelerate this egg. 
So this is all for today. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.